The morning I wake up, before I put on my makeup, I say a little prayer for you. And while combing my hair now, and wondering what dress to wear, I say a little prayer for you. Forever and ever, you take my heart and I will love you. Hey, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, family. Welcome, welcome, welcome to the mental house with me, your illustrious host, <laughs> Khadija. This is really going to be a short video. Um, blog. I just want to make a couple comments to some of these uh, Republicans or people who are misappropriating Dr. King's words. Um, why? Why I really find it um interesting and sick, quite sick, that you would be so. Insulting <laughs> to use Dr. King's words in your voter suppression, in your direct um, attack on black and brown bodies. I mean, it, it, it's incredible. So, what I just want to say, just want to shout out and tell you, why don't y'all stop misappropriating Dr. King's words? Stop being full of crap, okay? Uh, stop invoking his name in your racist, hollow, empty, hypocritical, devilish mindset. Stop it. Just quit. I mean, really. Y'all is, you know what? You know, y'all are really devils. There's no other way to describe your behavior. There may be some individual Europeans um, that are good, but collectively, and there's this elite class, uh, collectively, y'all missed the boat. Y'all are some evil mofos. Just disgustingly evil. I mean... <laughs> Is nothing that you devils can think, feel, is in any way reflective of the heart of Dr. King. You ain't even built that way. You're a Neanderthal. You don't have no hue in you. There is no compassion in your soul. You are not, I wrestle with this. I wrestle with it, trust me, if you're even human. I don't think you are. I really don't. Oh, uh, and, and, and just an example of that is that um, uh, uh, book everybody is talking about. Of course, I had to pre-order it. I and I alone, the great narcissist Donald Trump, and um, his last few days in, um, you know, his 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 last few days in office. Uh, it, it was just a hot mess from the attorney general, from his uh head of the FBI. I mean, everybody, the uh William Barr, all those people. Mike Pence, he knew he got himself into some shit just being a uh vice president of this guy. He knew he. Dude told him before the insurgent. There's some excerpts that are coming out in this in this book that um that going to show y'all, um especially people of color, us black people. Let's just start right there. Forget people of color. Let's just start with black folk. 
that go to show you we are up under the rulership of some diabolical, insane in the membrane small foes. Ain't nothing brilliant, dazzling, or anything about them. They are crazy. These people <laughs> allow this white man where it else what, to just run ramshackle over the country. All of them knew it. All of them know that he's a threat to democracy and they didn't care. Somehow people with these personalities have the ability to just draw and throw you totally off your square. Like when I was listening to the lawyer that got arrested. I can't think of his name right now. Y'all know how they go. Um, but he said he didn't have to do that. He said he was already a, 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 a financially secure lawyer. He had his future, his children's future, his wife, his family, things cut out for him. It wasn't that he needed Donald Trump. But the lure and the magnetic energy that comes behind people that are insane like that, like Jim Jones, is just it's mind boggling. And it's not but it's not to be denied. And most people can't recognize it because they can't recognize the narcissism, these personality disorders. They just think that the person is, oh, yeah, he's right, he's right. And all the time they're being led to the slaughter like sheep. Like all those fools that rushed the Capitol when he said, come on, I'm going to march down there with you. These dummies went down there while he watched it on TV. <laughs> and also, lastly, let me say this, too, because I would be remiss if I did being a minister. You know, they call me the minister of soul, and I wear that uh, moniker proudly. And with that being said, you white evangelicals, you are so unholy. There's a special place for y'all. Oh, yes, 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 yes. And let me let give you a hint. It's a place where all the fork tongue hypocrites reside. It's a place called hell. And the table is set for all you evangelicals. From Paul the White to all of y'all. Sicky, um, what's the dude's name? I get scared when I even see his face. He looks like a devil with the black hair. Y'all know who I'm talking about. Uh, it start with a C, I believe. The man is insane. Copeland, look at him. Look at his eyes. All you gotta do is stare at him for five minutes. You gonna begin to see horns. These people, if that's what you want to call them, are not right. They're not human. There's no hue in these beings. In fact, they are more in line with the Neanderthal, which they are part of, which is in their DNA. It ain't in ours, but it's in theirs. And their ways and their actions speak so much louder than their words. So I just want to leave you with that. And don't, don't invoke Dr. King no more. I don't really want to hear it. I can't hear it. With that being said, if you like what you hear, I want you to like, subscribe. I want you to share this video. And I'm going to see you in the next one.